Hi, my name's Andy, and this is part two of my first Raspberry Pi game. Uh, we're going to write uh, the simplest possible program we can write today, uh, a program that just says hello to you. Um, if you missed out on the first part, that's how you get hold of a Raspberry Pi, how to get uh, get it set up so that uh, it looks like how it's going to look when we look at it in a second. Uh, today, we're going to cover things like basically what is a computer program, uh, how do you run one, how do you write one. So, if you followed part one, you should have... Uh, a Raspberry Pi that uh, has a screen that looks a bit like this uh, with a great big Raspberry uh, on your TV and you've got a mouse and a keyboard plugged into it so you can control stuff on it. Uh, yours is probably gonna, your Raspberry is probably gonna look smaller, everything's probably gonna look a bit smaller on yours uh, unless your TV is quite small. Um, I'm quite zoomed in on this screen but um, it's the same, uh, everything's the same really. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna do, assuming you've got this um, Raspberry Pi screen all set up, is we're going to write our first computer program. We're going to jump straight in and do it. So what do you do? Well, you go down here, click on this weird little aeroplane thing, click on Accessories, and then LeafPad. And LeafPad is a text editor. That means uh, an editor in which you can write text, you can write writing. So you don't need to do this, but the first thing I'm going to do is make the font bigger so you can see what's going on. Um, so you might find the fonts fine how it is, but um, that will help me. So now I've done that, let's write our first computer program. You need to type exactly what I type. Uh, a bit later on I'll show you what uh, what happens if you type it wrong, but for the moment try and type exactly what I type. So what I'm going to type is print, and then a double quote, which is over the number two on my keyboard, or possibly over near the return key on yours. And now I'm going to type hello world exclamation mark. Uh, and then a, a closing quote. That's our program. That's it. Uh, it consists of this word print, which means write something to the screen, and this stuff in quotes, which is the argument that we pass to the print statement. Uh, and an argument just means some information you're giving to the command. And the information we're giving here is what do I want you to write to the screen? I want you to write this message, hello world. So we go to the file menu, save as, the place we want to save it is in our home folder, which is called Pi, because our, our name on this Raspberry Pi is Pi. So click on the Pi, type in the name, and because uh, the game we're going to write is going to be called Red Green, I'm going to call this Red Green dot Py. So the Red Green part is the name of it. Notice that there's no capitals or anything just to make my life simpler. No spaces, nothing like that. And then there's a dot, and then there's Py, which means this is a program written in the programming language. Python. We'll find out more about Python as we go on, but um, uh, all you need to know for the moment is that it's a language in which we can write programs. And the reason why print and then that uh, hello world string that we wrote works is because that's the way you can write commands in Python. So click save. Now we've got a file on our disk called redgreen.py, which is in our home directory. And now we want to run it. So what do we do? We go back to the weird aeroplane thing, click accessories, and then click on this program called LX Terminal. Uh, there's also another button you could double click in the top left instead if you want to. Now again, just to make um, it easier for you to see, I'm going to make the font on this window a lot bigger, which you may or may not want to do yourself, but it's going to make our lives easier. So there we go. Now, the, a terminal is a program which runs other programs. So this terminal is the program we're going to use to run our program. And the way we run our program, the way you run any Python program, or well, one way, is you type Python, which means uh, run the program called Python, which runs Python programs, and then we give the name of our program. We're already in our home directory, uh, so we can just type the name of our program, which is redgreen.py. So what we're saying is, run a Python program, and the name of the Python program I want you to run is redgreen.py. When I press return, our program runs. And what our program does is exactly what we told it to do. It writes to the screen, hello world. So well done. We've written our first ever program, and it did exactly what we expected it to do. If you type something wrong, you might get some other messages. So I'm very quickly going to show you what might happen. If you type the name Python wrong, for example, you added some extra numbers here, so Python was spelled wrongly, and then press return it would say that. So if you type Python wrong, it will say command not found, because it doesn't know what pyte 546 hon is, but it does know what Python is. Also, if you gave the name of your program wrong, for example, let's imagine you put a space in there. 
um, then it's going to say, I couldn't find that file. I can't open that file. So that's what it's going to say if you got the name wrong. Something like that. Now, let's imagine you got your program wrong. I'm sure you would never do that because you're an expert programmer. But some of us are amateurs and we might uh, write our program wrong. So instead of typing print, let's imagine you type print123 instead. Um, and then if I do save to save that program and run it again. Let me move that up so you can see. Press return, what does it say? Well, it says invalid syntax. Basically, there's something wrong in your program. So those are the kinds of messages you might see. If you see any of those messages, just check back over instructions. Check out the uh, the blog post on artificialworlds.net slash blog. Um, and hopefully, once you've corrected it so that um, uh, it looks exactly as I've shown you, then it will act in exactly the way I've shown you. Uh, that's it for today. We, we've written a program, we've run it, and it works. Next time we're going to write a program that actually looks something like the game we want to write. Uh, and I'll explain exactly what that game is. So, see you next time.